Um, Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, I just had to uh, turn off the uh, uh, speaker there so that the sound would echo. But anyways, um, so once again, hello. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, let's start the infrared spectroscopy. Now, um, infrared spectroscopy is a technique. Uh, it's a method um, to detect a type of functional group uh, in the molecule. So if you have a sample, let's say, and if you want to identify what kind of sample it is, so let's say substance. So you guys have probably have learned functional groups so far. So let's say you are to identify a, a let's say just a single compound, but you don't know what the compound is. And let's say you have an ester. So if you have an ester, then, um, of course, you know, there are chemical ways to tell there's a presence of ester, but also there are an analytical way to do it. And one of the analytical ways to do it is to use infrared spectrometer. So in this case, you look for a particular functional group. Um, so by using an infrared light. So for example, see if you remember ester, again, I'm going back to the, um, the actual uh, structure in a minute, but let's say ester, uh, is uh, comprised of uh, carbonyl group and OR group. So if you have carbonyl CO double bond um, and then OR, and if you can detect a particular presence of a functional group or particular uh, molecular bonding uh, or atomic bond or between the bonding between two atoms, then you can definitively say that a particular uh, a compound or particular type of functional group is being present. So, so but before we start, let me talk a little bit about the um, about what this light, the infrared light, is. What infrared light is about. So let me actually start my screen share, and then so that you can see my screen. Let's see if I use a um, screen one. So you're going to look at my screen. I'm going to actually go to a. Uh, my notepad. Here we go. It just came up. So uh, today, uh, this I'm going to break it down to probably about 15 minutes or so on each so that it's not too tiring for you guys. But for this next 15 minutes, if you can just bear with me, that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, what, the, what the light, what this infrared light uh, means. Uh, and also, I'm going to talk about um, how why we use a particular unit called wave numbers. I'm going to talk about that. But before we know what this wave number is, it's a unit that it's uh, often used um, in infrared spectroscopy. But uh, we have to understand what energy is and what frequency is and what um, wavelength is. And then we can talk about wave numbers. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the background for the next 15 minutes. So keep that in mind. So now, so if you put a, in a hand, so if you see my, I'm going to just put my hand out closer to the uh, the camera, but then in fact, there's a light source. Uh, I just put it out over there just so that I can get a better lighting, but it's closer to the light source. So now you can see my hand is glowing uh, yellowish uh, because I'm using candescent light right now. So I feel pretty warm uh, toward this, um, this light source. So what it means is that you know if you have if you have a hand so i'm gonna by the way my tablet is down here so i'm gonna look down and look up so keep that in mind so if my hand is down here let's say i'm just gonna draw my hand and be make sure to draw um, the take notes um as you go along of course you know you can take a screen capture but more the input method you have to your brain, the better uh, you retain the information. So keep that in mind. So um, I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put sixth finger right there. <laughs> anyways, so, but anyways, so let's say you have a light source. So let's say you have a light source and then the light comes along. Um, and then we, we call this light um, and then this hand this hand would feel, um, you know, warm, feels warm, 
uh, of course, you know, it appears, um, you know, uh, appears, um, appears like a skin colored. And um, so, so what it ha what's happening is light is coming toward my hand and then right uh, light is some of the light is being absorbed. Um, so, so it feels warm. And appears uh, skin colored. The reason why the light feels warm is because some light is absorbed. And then appears skin colored because this light coming the, the light particle uh, is hitting this hand and then reflecting back and then it's detected by the eye. So light is coming in reflected and coming to the eyes. So this is reflected. Oops, um, somehow my pen didn't work. So here we go and just erase that. So this one is uh, reflected. Um, so so now we're going to look at this particular the light absorption, but before we do, um, uh, let me talk uh, a little bit about the uh, you know what the light is. So light, what is light? So light um, is considered uh, light has you know sort of like two uh, features. Light, I say light particle. So what we call photon. And so light act like a particle as well as like a wave. So think of a particle like you're just moving along, you know, like a wave form. So uh, let's say, you know, in terms of wave, let's say I'm just going to draw a wave. So let's like a sine wave or something like that. All right. So let's say light particles moving like up and down and then just moving toward. So it's like light is going like this and then it's moving along. Right. So the node to node height is a node to node so distance so between the you know up node so node here and node here so this distance right here let's just erase this part right here just to clarify um, this is this distance between these two you know node to node is called wavelength and this wavelength uh, Depending on type of light, um, the wavelengths, it could be shorter or longer. So I'm just going to put 400 nanometers. And of course, you know, nano means it's 10 to the minus ninth. So it's a four. I'm just going to actually hit the, you know, put the bar here so that we have three sig figs. So 400 all right, nanometers means it's 10 times 10 to the uh, 10 to the minus ninth meters. So you know, it's it's a one billionth, or in this case, you know, 400 times um, 10 to the minus nine. So there are, there are uh, nine zeros in the, after the decimal place. But so it's very short wave. Um, typical um, typical um, uh, wave that you can actually detect is somewhere between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. So so if you have 400 nanometer light, so if you have 400 nanometer light, and you have 700 nanometer light. So again, 700 nanometer would be, you know, if you have a light and then it's going to go from node to node. So this node to node distance, it's 700 nanometers, let's say. So in this case, um, the 400 nanometer light appears like blue. And 700 nanometer light appears uh, red. So in between, you have, you know, somewhere along the way you have blue. Um, and uh, or you have, in fact, you have more like um, violet. Is 400. Let's make that into violet. And you have blue. And then green and yellow and orange and red. So green is roughly about you know 550 nanometers. Sorry about my handwriting, but you know it doesn't look clean. So let me erase this and rewrite this. All right. So so again the 
the longer the wavelength, you know, it's, you know, more red it is in terms of visible color range. Now, infrared light, uh, be, it's beyond the 700 nanometers. So let's call this 700 nanometers. And then violet is 400 nanometers. So beyond 700 nanometers, that's infrared light. So IR goes beyond 700 nanometers. Okay, so, so far so good. So now, so question is, so what is this light? So this, um, the longer the wavelength, the smaller the energy and small, shorter the wavelengths, higher the energy. So when you talk about light, light carries a certain amount of energy. So energy, um, so if you have energy, so energy, um, so again, when you feel warm, the reason why is because the photon is hitting my hand, and then it's you know it's the the it's it, it's carrying a certain amount of energy. It's in joules, so it's, it's a, so that turns into heat, and I feel warmth. So, um, so, but uh, let's say you know I have you know the infrared light is you know hitting here, and then uh, I feel warm. Let's say if, if this is a UV light, so let's say you know. Below, you know, below 400. So if you bring um, less than 400 nanometers, is what we call UV light, ultraviolet. So, so beyond uh, 400 nanometers, less than that would be uh, old UV light, and greater than 700 nanometers would be uh, greater than 700 nanometers would be. Uh, infrared light. So energy, in this case, the UV light has higher energy uh, because, I mean, when you think about it, when you go out in the field in the summertime, UV index is you know, high, which means a lot of UV light, and you get burnt. You, don't, you just don't feel, I mean, you feel warm, but more like you feel hot um, because, again, the UV light, the, the energy in the photon is carrying more, um, more kinetic energy and then when it hits the uh, the skin, it turns into the higher energy. It act, you know, it uh, it converts into thermal energy. So not only you're just feeling warmth, but also that the higher momentum uh, photon is causing the, um, the 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 skin to heat up more. Uh, so actually, you get burned, and that's why your skin burns. And also, um, UV light has enough energy to actually do a lot more damage to your genes, like you know, cross-linking uh, nu uh, uh, nucleic acids and so on. But anyways, the point is that sm smaller the wavelengths, higher the energy. So energy, so smaller, smaller the uh, wavelength, higher the energy. Which is, it's kind of like inverse, like in, inversely intuitive, so to speak, because like smaller the wavelength and then uh, higher the energy. So it's not intuitive. So one of the way to deal with um, the, uh, the energy being consistent, like higher the energy, and you want to use a unit that is consistent, you know, it's going to the same direction. And that's why we use wave numbers. So there's a relationship between um, between wavelength and then um, and also something called frequency and then something called wave numbers. And we're going to come back to this. So so light um, can carry a can be expressed in three ways, either wavelength, frequency, or uh, wave numbers. So again, you know, wavelength. So you know, th in this case, you can say like nanometers, you know, um, uh, and so on. Frequency is, you know, is you what you hear hertz. Um, Uh, 
uh, and the wave numbers, it's going to be in a centimeter to the minus force. I'm going to talk about the uh, the relationship uh, among these three things uh, in the next video. So um, please stay tuned. And then um, if you can still focus, uh, please continue to the next video. Or if not, I'll see you in the next video.